Which Tello is which? Tello currently comes in three different types. There's the Tello original from 2018, the Tello Edu from 2018 as well, and the Tello Talent from 2021. So I'm going to break down what each one of these drones do and what makes them all different, okay? One thing that I really appreciate is that each model is a different color. So it is so easy to look at a drone and go, oh, this is the original, or oh, this is a Tello Edu, or this is a Tello Talent. Also, they do have their name just above here. So this one says Tello, this one says Tello Edu, and of course, this one says Tello Talent. So it's very easy to identify, but if you don't want to read a label, think of the colors. So the original Tello has manual flight control, so you can fly it around manually. It supports block coding. So you can drag and drop blocks to make the drones fly. It supports script languages like Python or JavaScript. It has a front-facing camera. And the Drone Blocks app is compatible on PC, Mac, iOS, Android, and Chromebooks. It's very cool. And there is no storage on these drones. So you cannot film video or take pictures and store them on the drone. So if the drone goes missing, the student can't take it home and then have photos of classmates or if it flew over your school property and landed in a field somewhere and a random person took this home, your student's privacy is safe. I really love that about these drones. Next, we have Tello Edu, the black one. This does everything that the previous one does, but more. This supports swarm mode, so which means you can connect multiple of these drones and they can fly and make a dance. Like basically you can have a drone show. It's very cool. They also support the advanced system development kit. So if you wanted to do more advanced things with the drones, these are the ones for you. They also support mission pads. Now mission pads are these pads, are these pads that you put down on the ground and as the drone flies over them, they can be triggered to do certain actions like flip. Well, it barely made that flip awkward. So they can do some very cool things with the mission pads. And these drones are compatible with an extension board, an ESP32 extension board which we talk about on the next drone. They are compatible with the edgy ones as well. Lastly, stepping up to the plate, we have the Tello Talent, AKA the red one. This one does everything that the edgy one does as well, but straight out the box, it ships with this cool little add-on that sits on the top of the drone. It has a RGB, which is red, green, blue, LED, so this will change color. You can set it to whatever color you want. Think light show. It also has an eight by eight red and blue display matrix, which means you can either draw pictures or scroll text. So cool. It has a built-in ESP32 module, which is a microcontroller. Very cool stuff. It has improved Wi-Fi and the embedded ESP32 module allows you to connect an extension board to this drone, which lets you plug in things like a temperature sensor. The other thing that is really cool, this is Arduino compatible. So if you have any Arduino electronics or an Arduino robotics lab, Think of the possibilities. They are endless. It is so cool. I was so excited to find out that this was Arduino compatible. Now that takes us to the three drones. Now these three siblings, like all good siblings, have learned to share over the years. So there are some things that are compatible that you can share amongst all the drones. Those are the batteries, the propellers, the propeller guards, and the USB cables. And that takes us to the end of this video. Those are the three different types of drones. In the next video, I'm going to show you the individual parts of the drones and how they work. It's so exciting. I can't wait to see you there. And that's where I'll be waiting.